I bought this scoop a while back off Amazon and my plan is to or my plan was to alter it similar to mine so I cut off the ends and printed new ends and glued them on there to fit the medium sized tray so this scoop fits perfectly in the medium sized tray what I'd like to do different on the next one and this one is supposed to be for my sister but maybe I'll keep the new one give her this one anyway so the things I'd like to change is I'd like to make this taller because this is barely as high as a tray and once you start scooping and pushing things in sometimes it goes off the edge so a little bit higher would be nice and then the other piece is the width here so this is not as wide as the bag so there's still room for at least another inch out this way and for most foods that's not a problem but for a few bigger chunkier pieces when you're shaking them down into there sometimes they get hung up there so my thought is to warm this up and just flare them back out or straighten them out a little bit because this is like for a small popcorn bag or a french fry box or bag but for what I'm doing wider would be just fine so I'm going to try that right now with the heat gun just warm up this side and see if I can just open that up a little bit without hurting anything else with it and without getting it so hot that I burn myself that would be good too we will try one side at a time and a hot sand container would work really well for this I think let's try that real quick I'm gonna use I don't I should have planned for some leather gloves oh boy that's very soft but I didn't soften it up enough at the front too so I'm gonna just try it like that first yeah I should have softened it more here too well it definitely bends so let me get a glove okay let's try that again so I need to warm it up more up into here and across there but that looks pretty good yeah that's gonna work out and you can see it's quite a difference already but I need to warm it up into this area more but I don't want to get this spot and by tapping it I can tell if it's still pretty solid or if it's starting to get a little bit uh, squishy yeah the tone changes quite a lot oh that's nice and flexible so we'll kind of push this like this so if I had some kind of mold for it that would be good so mainly I want to get these areas more upright so that's not going to be a perfect it'll open it up enough to help it flow in there better I think yeah so I should have gone all the way up there okay there but that's quite a difference it'll help open that bag higher and allow a wider channel so I'll do the same thing on this side I'll try to get all the way up into here luckily it's pretty inexpensive so if I really mess it up uh, it's not a giant deal okay let's try that That's kind of what I want. If I had a mold to push it against, that would be nice. Okay, and now you can see there's quite a difference in that shape. The width is still about the same because I couldn't really widen that that much, but the curve is considerably different. So if I if I print something or or make something that would fit in there, that would be the ultimate. So maybe I should look for a piece of wood or something that's that size. Let me check for that. But in the meantime, yeah, that opens that bag so much more. Oh, now that's a nice size. It's a little bit narrower. I like that. But then I can get a more smooth area on there so it at least looks better. Okay, that's my new plan.
go. That'll look nicer. Have a nice smooth edge on there. Oh, that looks way better. So I'll do that both, both sides. And then I can probably use this block to kind of smooth this piece out too. Yeah, I'll do the same thing here first. Okay, get that in there and squish that along that side. So by doing it this way, I could make it a little bit wider and more even. And maybe I will with the next one. But at least this will look nice and it'll be nice and even. Oh, that looks great. Now, straighten that out a little bit. Let's try that. Okay. That makes it nice. So let that cool against that for just a few seconds. And that's quite hot. There we go. Okay, that looks much better. Now, again, I want to raise these sides up later, but for right now, that's an improvement, a big improvement over that for filling up the bags. All right. Yeehaw! That can go back in service, and I'll do this same kind of thing to this one, and I'll do that before I do these pieces. That's why, that way I can figure out how much I need on those. So I'm going to try to do a little bit more with the scoop. So my sister's scoop for scooping the food off the trays and into the bags. You probably just saw me do a little bit with my older scoop, and it gave me some ideas of how to deal with her scoop. So let's try this. I'm going to heat up the sides and put a block of wood in there to stretch it out and make it nice and even. Let's check it out. And I honestly have no idea if this is going to work or not. So my plan is to widen it out kind of like I did on this one. So I took some scrap pieces that I had and put them together to make approximately the size that I want to fit into there. So, and then just to protect the table, I uh, taped this piece of extra plywood on there. Now I'm going to tape this to it. That way I can heat this up real well and I'll have a glove on. I can slide this in there when it's nice and soft and then just kind of mold it around there. That's the plan, so let's give it a try. And if I had a bigger piece, I could have just clamped it to the edge and I probably should have looked for a bigger piece. And if it doesn't hold, if the tape doesn't hold, then I'll just move it to the edge real quick and clamp it. So that should allow me to put a lot of force on it. So just warm this up real well and see how that does. And as I mentioned before, it's pretty inexpensive, so even if it fails miserably, I'm not out that much. Thought I better get my glove on. Let's do a quick test, see if it's getting flexible. It's getting there. It needs more. Especially on this side. Okay, let's go squish that on there. Mold that around there. Kind of pulling up and molding it against there. Okay. I can always heat it, reheat it a bit and adjust it if I'm not happy with it. I think that's looking pretty good. Yeah, a little bit wider there. And just, and then just pull it tighter. And gloves are definitely a necessity with this because that's quite toasty. And it's not flexible when it's still quite warm has to be very hot. That looks like it should work out really well. Now, step two. So I don't think I need to leave that in there once it starts to cool because it gets solid and unflexible very quickly. All right, 
That's step one. Step two, I want to try to bend these two sides. And I had a thought of using the freeze dryer trays themselves as the bending mold. So let's get one of the trays and see if we can make that work. So I think that's all we need for that. Yeah, that's a nice wide scoop area now. Much neater than this one. I'll have to redo mine later. And it still leaves this flare in there to help guide it in. And I still want to add taller sides, but I want to start with... So my thought is I could heat it up real well in these two areas, right along here and here, enough that I can push this down into there and get a nice bend in there. And instead of like I did on mine, I cut off that whole area and then put a new piece on there. Well, if I can fold this up, I won't have to cut it all. So I could try one end, one side at a time. So it needs to be a little bit smaller than that. Let's see what I can find. I'll start by putting a piece of tape or a couple of pieces of tape here to hold it into place. And then we'll figure out what we can use to push that down. All right. I'll just put a couple of pieces of tape there. And that will act as kind of the hinge to push that into place. Now I need a piece that's a little bit narrower than this because it needs to be the width of the bottom minus two pieces of this plastic so this will fit in there. I have this scrap piece that might do pretty well. So I'm going to give that a whirl. I'm going to heat up that one edge and try it one side at a time. Might not work. See if that is too much, not enough. What? Yeah, I think I need to have a taller block to make that work properly. I'm going to try the other side. Okay, let's try pushing this end down. Okay, let's get that loose. Taxi! I think that's pretty decent. It's got a little bit of a fold here. But I plan on adding some taller edges anyway, so I could sand these or file these a bit. So to take care of those areas, I could sand them or file a bit. And I could heat that up and kind of press it in. But I don't think it's too much of a problem. I can get it in there. The biggest problem I see is right here. I have a little bit of a strange shape. So I'm going to warm that up just a little bit and press it flat because it's just, it's got a little bit of a bump and then down. I don't know if you can see that at that angle. There's a little bit of a bump piece right there. So I'm going to heat this area up just a little bit and press this part down. It doesn't leave a nice sharp corner like cutting them off and gluing them does. But I do like the one piece idea. That's still, that's pretty nice. So I'm going to heat this up just a little bit right there and then flatten it down. There we go. Now I can push stuff up onto it, put a bag on there. Hey, I'm going to call that done. I like that. It was simpler than doing this one because I didn't have to make anything. Just heat it up and bend it. Um, and as I said, it's not as sharp of a corner, but I don't think that that is a big deal in the big scheme of things. 
I think this will work out well. So this is, in general, this is the smallest bag we use on a regular basis. It's the little pint bag. And this widened scoop fits in there real nice. It can, uh, it's got room for a teeny bit more if we made it a little bit wider even, but that's a good width. These flared edges will help guide things in here. The angles here kind of stops the bag from going too far on there. The only thing I'll want to do later is add taller sides and I'll flare them right into here. And so if you see us bagging stuff with my sister's scoop and has taller edges, I'll try to remember to add how I did that. My plan will just be to 3D print some little pieces kind of slightly L-shaped and curved and sand these and glue the other ones right on there. So now my sister will have her own scoop and we'll see that later. Thanks for watching.